Good morning. It is going on 8 a.m. here on the East Coast of the United States, January 21st, 2022. And it is a gloomy, wet day here. My gosh, look, it looks like four in the afternoon. No sunshine, just gray out there. But that's okay. We need the rain. So, I was, I got up this morning. I was going to make myself a nice espresso. I was looking forward to it, but I can't do it. Let me show you why. Okay. See this whole thing here? Here, let me turn on some more lights. And these are my drawers with my espressos in them. Okay, so this is an air fryer. Now, I also have an air fryer over there, but it's like a toaster oven, air fryer, convection oven, broiler. It does, does everything except wash the dishes. <clears throat> this is one of those air fryers with a drawer. Okay, this is a very heavy candle. This is the drawer to the air fryer. These are two hand weights that I have sitting on the handle of the drawer, which I glued with this glue. And I'll explain this whole thing to you. So one day I was over at my daughter's house and I was, let me turn some lights out now. I was um, getting something on the counter and I knocked the drawer of the air fryer off onto the floor. And of course the thing landed on its handle, which is plastic and it snapped off. So we looked it up. It's one of those, uh, what instant pot air fryers. So it said that, you know, if you broke the handle, they'd send you a new handle. So we contacted them and then it turned out they no longer made that particular model, so they sent her a whole new air fryer for nothing. Oh my gosh. So she had this original air fryer, and she said, you want it? And I said, sure, why not, you know? Um, actually, it's, it's handier than mine in a lot of ways, but uh, the, it, different for depending on what you're making. But anyway, I thought I have room in my cabinet. Um, so I'll get it, but I wanted to put that handle back on. And I knew that this E6000 glue, I've used it in the past to make things uh, that would go in the microwave later or go in the dishwasher and they were fine. So I thought I'll give this a try. But the handle, it wasn't like a right angle thing. It was this sort of a thing. So something had to hold down that joint that I was gluing. Uh, and of course I'm standing there holding it, not having thought about this before, <laughs> holding the thing together, hoping I'm not gluing myself to the drawer of the air fryer. And you know, I always keep hand weights on my kitchen counter so I can exercise while I'm just standing around or you know, waiting for coffee to brew or cooking something. Well, I don't cook that much, but you know what I mean. I'm, I, like everybody, even if you don't cook a lot, you kind of tend to spend time in your kitchen. It's a homey place. So anyway, I saw the hand weights and I thought, oh, let me see if I can use these. And then I, you know, made this sort of contraption here but the drawer wanted to slide on the countertop. So I had this heavy candle, so I slid it up against it. And then I slid the whole air fryer against that to try to hold things up. So it's been that way overnight, but I'm gonna leave it like that for 24 hours because I don't wanna end up, you know, having the thing fall apart. So, the whole point of my telling you this story is that 
the way I set this up, it is blocking my being able to open these drawers. However, I do have, I can't get to the, oh golly, to the espresso capsules, but I can get to this one lone Costa Rica Virtuo capsule that I have. Oh wait, could I get, oh, you know what? Come on. Okay. This is, and this is a chocolate fudge espresso capsule. So, okay. I'll be able to have two cups of coffee there. Where's my, okay. Here's my little book here. Let me, talk, let me see if Costa Rica is in here for the Virtuo. It might have come out after this book was put out. Oh, golly, I see Mexico, I see Colombia. Um, I need to find out if they make another one of these books. This was one of those books from Bed Bath & Beyond where they sell a lot of Nespresso machines and stuff and somebody got this and sent it to me. Well, maybe I should get in touch with Bed Bath & Beyond, right? Okay, so I do not see Oh, this is actually, oh, you know what? This is a Gran Lungo. So this is like a five ounce, the Costa Rica is. It's not listed here. So it came out after this book came out. Darn, I, you know, I can't remember the notes that this has. If anybody is watching and knows what kind of notes, I do know though that it's a really pleasant coffee. It's strong enough, but not too strong for those of you who don't like intense coffees. So, okay, I've got my Nespresso cup here that I always forget how many ounces these are. Why doesn't it say here? It says it's made in France. It says, who makes it? Okay, Design Atelier. Oh, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. For Nespresso Collections. All right. Well, I think it's around 10 ounces, actually. But I am going to get some oat milk, because I'll tell you what. I have had this Costa Rica with almond milk before. I've never had it with oat milk. And I'm just gonna put in a little bit. I can always add more, you know? You can add more, you can't take out. All right, so. It's been a long time since I've made the Costa Rica. Okay, so this is my Virtuo machine. Okay, and you know, this takes a longer time than when I'm making these little things in my Pixie machine because these are just little 1.35 ounce espressos. This one is going to be, I believe it's 5.07 ounces for a Gran Lungo. Oh, you know what? Hey, maybe I, no, it's not up here either on my chart. Um, do I have, no. Okay, let's get going, coffee. So, I had to go out yesterday. Still have dishes sitting, still have not cleaned out my frother, but it is sitting with, it's got soapy water in there. So the milk doesn't, you know, adhere to the sides and get hard to clean off. So there we go. We've got Costa Rica for the Virtuo machine. That side has the water tank. This side has the tank for the used capsules. And this makes the coffee by spinning those capsules around at a super duper high speed 
so that the water is forced through the coffee grounds. Uh, it's sort of like under pressure because of spinning it through at the super high speed. But it's not the mechanical pressure that the little pixie and original line machines use. So we're almost done here. Oh, one of my favorite parts is watching how beautifully it stacks up with the milk and the crema. Ooh. Okay, so let me get a spoon here. Okay, so uh, all my oh, I've got one. I haven't emptied the dishwasher yet either. Okay, so we always eject the capsule because we don't want, you know, like residues building up inside and and drying in there and making it difficult to clean. And we have the lovely background of my <laughs> glued together um, air fryer there. Hopefully when I take off the weights tonight, you know, I'm gonna find that the handle is nice and steady on there. So here we go. Yay! Ooh. So I have liked Costa Rica before with just almond milk. So I'm imagining it's got to be better with oat milk. But you got to try to tell. I actually have had oat milk in some things where I didn't like it that well. So taste test. Oh, you know, this is so interesting. Um, I haven't had this in maybe months, many weeks for sure, possibly months. And tasting it brings back memories of having had it whenever the last time was. Mmm. Have you ever tasted something um, that maybe, I don't know, you used to eat during your childhood or you had at some some point in your life that was really special, or gee, it could have been some point in your life that was special in a negative way even, but a taste, an odor can bring back memories. And this is not bringing back any specific memories, it's just bringing back, I remember this flavor, and it's good. Mm, do I want to sweeten it? No, I think I'll just have something to eat with it. Well, listen, I'll let you know how the air fryer turns out. But you know what? Even if the handle doesn't stick on, there's still enough of a handle, you know, broken handle left to be able to pull that drawer in and out. So I'll be able to use the air fryer. Oh, maybe I can think of something to make to go with the coffee. I'll be thinking on that for the next few days. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope that whatever problems you have, you can take a deep breath, try to calm down a bit and figure out a solution or have the ability to wait because sometimes some things Take time. Have a wonderful day.